these are different sections of structural elements and knowing how to find the centroid of shapes is vital in the calculation of bending stress distribution on a beam section also it allows for the location of maximum shear stress while moment of inertia or second moment of area helps in the determination of strength of beams and columns of a structural system in this example we are to find the centroid of this l beam along the x axis and also along the y axis step number one split the l beam into two this is rectangle one and this is rectangle two step number two calculate the area of rectangle one and the area of rectangle two the area for rectangle one is the base multiplied by the height which is 165 while the area for the second rectangle is the base multiplied by the height now we have obtained the area of the first rectangle and the area of the second rectangle step number three find the centroid of the first rectangle along the x axis and the centroid of the second rectangle along the x axis for the first rectangle considering the x axis we split it along this path and it's going to be 15 divide by 2 likewise for the second rectangle we are going to split it along this path and this becomes our x bar for both sides and this also becomes our x1 bar for this section having understood this that is exactly how we got this and this for the centroid of h x axis section of the beam step number four is to find the centroid of each of the rectangles along the y axis for the y axis for rectangle one and this is rectangle two for rectangle one i will split one c5 into two then one sixty five if you divide it by two you're going to get eighty two point five and if you add it to fifteen you're going to get ninety seven point five hence this becomes ninety seven point five millimeters for the second rectangle it will be split into two sections like this and half of each is 7.5 that is we're going to have 15 divided by 2 which will give us 7.5 having obtained the two areas for the both rectangular sections and also we have obtained the centroid of each rectangle along the x axis and we have obtained the centroid of each rectangle along the y axis the next step is to substitute into the required formulas for the centroid along the x axis this is the formula and you can see that this is having x1 and x2 hence for my a1 is this and for the centroid of the first rectangle is this and for the a2 is this and for the centroid of 
the second rectangle is this while this is the summation of the area and if you solve carefully you're going to get 50.54 millimeters having obtained the centroid for the x-axis next is let's find the centroid for the y-axis and for the y-axis if you substitute and solve carefully you see that the centroid along the y-axis is 50.54 millimeters in this calculation you can see that the centroid along the y-axis and the centroid along the x-axis are the same however this is not always the case in many calculations especially when the width of the L beam are actually different in different sections of the element. Considering the section of an I beam, you are going to split it into three one, two, three. Then you are going to apply this formula and also this formula to find the centroid. This is along the x axis and this is along the y axis. In these examples, you have learned step by step method of calculating centroid, moment of inertia, and radius of gyration of structural elements. I hope the examples were helpful. I will see you in the next video.